Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Fluid Flux demo or Fluid Flux 2.0. Now if you don't know what Fluid Flux is, basically it's a plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that features real-time water simulation. And this is probably one of the most realistic interactable water systems that you can find anywhere on the Unreal Engine marketplace. And it's absolutely incredible. Now they've just updated the plugin, or at least the demo. Plugin update is going to be coming soon. But the creator of Fluid Flux updated the demo, and so that's what we're going to be checking out here. And as you can see, this is just insane. So I have this running in 4K on my RTX 4090, and this looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at the water simulation and the waves rolling onto the shore. You really can't find this type of water simulation inside of games. And if you look closely, uh, one of the new updates is that you can see the waves actually breaking. So this is part of the new update for Fluid Flux 2.0. And the water simulation just looks absolutely realistic. And when I say that, I mean it because, I mean, I've lived next to the ocean my entire life. So I think I have a pretty good idea or reference of how the ocean is supposed to look. As you can see, we can swim through the water here. And I mean, the caustics are just beautiful. And you have this really nice little water ripple effects as your character runs through the water. And you don't really see much water interaction inside of games, especially when it comes to things like the shoreline. And it seems like most games will just have, you know, ocean waves off in the distance, but not many games that I know of have actual waves rolling or crashing into the shore, like what we're seeing here. Now, one thing that I like about Fluid Flux is if you look at this, you can see how you know rough the ocean is over there with all the waves and then as you go into sort of like this river part, as it gets more shallow, you can see how calm the water is. And I especially love these little ripples. You can see how it distorts, you know, your shadow or reflection inside the water. But yeah, you can just see how calm the water is over here and how smoothly, you know, it transitions from the ocean just to the shore. But this would be such a good level for some sort of survival game. It kind of reminds me of Stranded Deep, if you guys have ever played that, you know, tropical survival game where you're sort of trapped on an island. You have to swim and dive into these shipwrecks to find different resources and tools that you can use. But I wonder if I can actually swim all the way out to that island in the distance. So I'm gonna try and see if I can swim all the way over there. Now, before we get any further on into the video, I really quickly wanna tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. There's currently over 50 hours of course content and I'm working to have it updated to Unreal Engine 5.2. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree rock or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you will get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. And I mean, even the underwater part looks great as well. So it's good to see that they made sure that they had the underwater post process and everything look great. So yeah, our character is just swimming across the ocean. Now I don't actually own this plugin. This is just the demo. So it'd be really cool to try and get my hands on the plugin to incorporate it in some sort of project. Maybe try to combine it with the map that we create in my survival game course, uh, which by the way, chapter 13 is out where we create the actual open world map. So if you guys want to check that out, check out my course in the description. But what I would like to see is setting up some sort of boat where you can drive around and just testing out the buoyancy just to see it, you know, drive across the rough waters and see all the interaction that would have with the ocean water. Wow, so we just swam all the way across this island. And look at that, just the water interaction on the shore. This would be perfect for a survival game. I mean, just imagine you've arrived at the nearest piece of land and you've washed up on the beach after days of being stranded out at the sea. But yeah, you cannot find many games with this type of water interaction, especially with the shoreline. Usually it's just a simple water plane that intersects with the shore or the terrain. And sometimes, very rarely in these games, do they actually have foam on the edges of where that water plane intersects with the terrain. But yeah, here are some of the other maps inside the demo. So this one showcases sort of the buoyancy 
an actual water simulation. And if you haven't seen this before, this is gonna blow your mind because the water simulation, this is all real time. And this just showcases so many different buoyant items, things like you know plastic water bottles, palm leaves, uh, beach balls, just floating around in the water. And to me, this is crazy because if you look really closely and see how the water flows, you can see that the items actually follow the flow of the water. So on the edges there, you can see the actual current. And then to the right of that, you can see the calm water and how you know all the little buoyant items you know, float in sort of a circular pattern. And this is literally the exact same way of how actual objects in the water would simulate in real life. I mean, it's just crazy to see this in a game. Now, if we run over here, I really want to test out a boat pond that you can drive around. But, I mean, here's a little boat buoyancy actor that you can jump in. So, yeah, over here we can see the water slowly increase and fill up. And there really isn't any real-time water simulation in games. I mean, I remember seeing years ago we had sort of an NVIDIA demo for some water simulation. But it was a really early concept and it never actually made its way into any games. Can't remember the name of what they called it. I think it was just NVIDIA Waterworks, but yeah, here's another example level. So we have sort of this small little island where you have some waves crashing on the shore. Uh, the ocean foam looks just absolutely amazing here. And let's actually see if we can swim all the way out here. And I just noticed, look at the little fish out of the water. This is pretty cool. I wanna try and see if I can try and hop on this boat or if I can try and push it to the shore. Hey, wait, look at this guy over here. This must have been the last guy who reviewed Fluid Flux. Anyways, back to the beach demo. You can actually change the time of day. You can just change the lighting. So I just change it to sunset here. And this just looks absolutely incredible. I mean, especially the waves just simulating on the beach. This just looks like, you know, a video you take on your iPhone of the ocean. Just looks all very realistic. We can also set the time of day to noon so you can have the sun, you know, directly in the top of the sky. But let's actually set this back to a sunset. But yeah, the sunset just reminds me of survival games like Ark. And I just realized you can even do this slow motion. So we got sort of the cinematic run across the beach at the sunset. And we can see the, you know, the waves slowly crashing to the shore as we run across the beach. But yeah, they really need to make the new Ark, you know, Ark Ascended, which is supposed to be, I guess, the remastered version of the old game. Inside of Unreal Engine 5, they need to include this plugin, I think, just because of you know, how good this looks. But I realized I could even zoom all the way out, and it really even looks good from afar, too. Maybe even a top-down game would be beautiful you know, to watch the ocean waves from. And I just now notice over here they have sort of this lake area, or I guess like this waterfall area. So let's go check this out real quick. So this is pretty cool. You can see various objects spawning in over here, and it just follows the current down. So let's just actually ragdoll into this and see where the current takes us. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Just seeing the water as it takes us around this little rock area. And I mean, look at the pillars over on that bridge. So this is all water simulation, so you can see the water navigating around those pillars. And yeah, just look at the way we flow right into the ocean. I mean, even the plastic waste over there. <laughs> if I ever get this plugin, I'd like to try and test it out in VR. I mean, just make a little scene with some nanite meshes and fluid flux. But yeah, anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to check out you know, the new updated fluid flux demo. Uh, they're going to be updating the plugin soon from what I've heard. And yeah, I'm going to leave a link to their marketplace page where you can download the demo. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. So I don't get anything from promoting them. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.